welcome back now so how can you confirm that if this test case is pass or fail so right now you are actually printing the message in the output whatever you get as a success form has been submitted successfully you are seeing the output manually and then confirming that test case looks good but that should also automatically happen right you should not see this validation and if you want to fail the test if this text is not displayed then you need to understand how assertions work assertions are nothing but which will look for expected value if it does not receive expected value then it will fail now for example asset 2 equals to 3 is 2 equals to 3 it returns false right asset always expects true in this argument okay if asset returns false then this test will automatically fail now what happens this test will pass because 2 is less than 3 asset what does it return 2 less than 3 returns true asset of true is true so test will not fail but if you write something like this it's false right it returns false Basically, assert always expects to return true whatever you provide. Okay. Now, keeping that in mind, instead of printing in the output, I want to take this text message. I will copy that complete text into one variable. And now I want to verify whether success text, the subtext is present in this complete text or not. I don't want to verify entire text. I just want to check if success keyword is present in the message what I retrieved from the browser or not. For that what you can do? You can simply say assert success in message. That's it. This will tell you if it is true or false. If you carefully remember and if you watch my python basics lecture I have explained you how to check whether substring is present in the main string or not. I don't remember exact lecture but here I guess. Yeah you see that substring check. So here our substring is success and we are checking in the actual complete string. Similarly and it will return true if the string is present inside this. In the same way now I am checking whether this success text is present in the message what I retrieved from the browser. If it is present then it returns true. Assert of true is okay. It will test will return pass. If this return false then your test case will fail. Okay that's why we use assert keyword at the end to confirm is your test case is ultimately passing or failing. Now let me run this test. Let's start with negative test. I will add some different key characters. Is this text present in this message? No. This is some word text and this is not at all there. Now what happens when I run this test now? Let's see. Okay. Your test case is failed. You see that? Assertion error. This is not present in this message. Okay. Let's actually change. And write the correct one and I will rerun this again and this time it should return without any errors that's it process finished execution and there are no errors and I hope you understood how power these assertions are to decide whether your test case is pass or fail okay or you can actually if you want to compare entire string then you can put double equals to and copy the complete text whatever you are expecting to actual okay this is one way if you want to compare but if you want to check substring then you can use in right now here i just want to see if success keyword is present in this message or not okay and if you want to run this entire test in firefox is that hard no it's simple right what will you do if you want to run this now in Firefox? It's very simple. I just want to show you that um, test case building is independent of which browser you use. It's all just one step in the beginning. If you want to run 
and interested to run this in Firefox webdriver dot select the Firefox and give the executable path where your gecko driver is present okay so my gecko driver is always present in C drive so instead of Chrome driver I will call gecko driver make sure you have your driver there okay and I will comment this line line number four so that your test case now should run in Firefox simple that's the only change no matter what browser you use code remains same okay don't think that trainer is explaining only on Chrome there is no point showing same test in different browsers every time but I just want to show now so that you will be feeling better you see that Firefox browser is invoked and it's doing the same test again and no change in your test and process finished without any issue perfect so this is how you can run in trash browser and this is how you can put assertions to know your test is pass or fail good we have learnt good important concept in this lecture let's continue with our discussion thank you